Hello, welcome to Chrysalis Invictus Tarot. I have another daily oracle reading for you. This time we have three piles. So pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. Using your intuition to select a pile. Maybe there's more than one message for you here. So maybe you watch more than one pile. And we'll take a look at any advice that you might need for your day. So I'll meet you at your, um, at your pile. Timestamps below. Okay, so we'll start with pile number one, dreams. Today has a very Neptunian feel, a very dreamlike feel. You may find yourself um, think daydreaming a lot or thinking that things seem surreal or things might, um, impossible things might be happening or really, um, strange unexpected unexpected things coming today let's take a look at the guidebook and see what additional messages there are for you here so just try and do an intuitive reading and then um maybe the intuitive reading speaks to you more than the reading from the book um either way Hopefully you're getting some wisdom for your day. So it says, Isis, giver of life and diviner of magic, is depicted standing motionless in a haunting moonlit river. Celebrated for archetypal feminine powers of healing, Isis was often portrayed wearing a throne-like headdress. Red is the color of life force, passion, and forward movement, and Isis clasps a bundle of fragrant red rose petals to her chest. Like thoughts and dreams, they fall silently to the water's surface to be carried to a new destination by the river. Her inquiring eyes are fixed on the far distance as if transported, transported by deep concentration. The surrounding watery blue landscape of river and moon represents the realms of the unconscious mind, psyche, psyche and dreams. Modern times have seen the decline of sacred values, traditions, and spiritual beliefs that keep us nurtured. Surviving the challenges of the physical life can be overwhelming at times. Our feelings of being almost robotically governed by the constraints of practicality, logic, and duty allow little time for what appears to be the seemingly indulgent and magical act of dreaming. However, a dream is merely a goal without feet. And it is often through the creative power of dreams that we find the courage to begin their realization. Many people will tell you that the greatness of their success began with a dream. The dreams card signifies that now may be the time to make a significant decision or to rethink your direction and make some changes, which however small could lead to larger things. The inclusion of dreams in any equation can be the difference between a good decision and a great one. Be aware of the power and potential that this card invites you to explore by investing your time a little differently and daring to dream. In the words of Sarah Van Gruthnack, the world needs dreamers and the world needs doers, but above all, the world needs dreamers who do. So in that vein, I am going to pull some cards for you from the Sweet Dreams Oracle. Any additional messages for pile number one? Transition. While I sleep, I move from the old to the new with great ease. Yeah, so this is this dreams being a carrier for you. In line with that theme. And one more. Ooh. We have change. Wow, this is so aligned. I embrace, embrace change in this new day and I adapt to what is to come. So this could be a mantra that you say to yourself. I embrace change in this new way and I adapt to what is to come. So that's what I have for you, pile number one. Thank you so much for joining me and take care.
welcome to your reading pile number two i hope you're doing well so far today let's see what guidance we have for you we have harmony i'm really feeling like there are a lot of ideas swirling around um there's a lot of being in your head here but also having interesting or important conversations. So this could be in your head, maybe having interesting or important conversations with um, within your mind or with someone else. Having these sort of breakthrough ideas is what I'm getting intuitively. So let's check out the guidebook and see what additional messages there are for you today. Harmony. Such a beautiful card. These cards are gorgeous. Okay, so it says... What this do? Okay. The word harmony derives from the ancient Greek word harmonica, meaning joint agreement concord, and from the verb harmozo, to fit together or join. In linear terms, harmony describes many things, from the construction of temples to mathematical cosmic phenomena to the theory of music. However, the innate language of harmony is found in all life. This card depicts a solitary Orpheus, musician to the gods, playing his lyre in a secluded temple. The seven strings of the instrument correspond to various planets, and the sides represent the relationship between heaven and earth. The melodies Orpheus created were said to enchant and unify all animals, birds, and beings. Swallows dart and dive overhead against a canvas of indigo night sky. In the human aura, the color blue represents healing and takes on a sacred significance in many ancient and iconic religious paintings. By drawing this card, you are asked to release any possible feelings of conflict, judgment, or isolation by attuning yourself to the encompassing frequencies of harmony. Bear in mind that in musical terms, there is a vital place for unison and dissonance, and the dance between them makes for a colorful and original composition. Furthermore, a shared appreciation of both aspects is essential between the players, and so it is with life. The art of listening, whether to the needs of others, the voice of nature, or the silence of your own soul, is essential to discovering your unique part in the great symphony of life. Yeah, so it could be here as well that some work on the throat chakra is needed. Um, balancing, either saying too much or too little. Or just being able to express yourself in that way. So I'm going to get for you a few cards from the flower petals oracle to round out your reading today any further advice for my pile number two return quietly now and be at peace so cherry blossom and orchid your uniqueness is always perfectly lovely. All right, so you're reminded that you can be harmonious even with your difference, even with your uniqueness. So just because you are not the same does not mean you do not belong or that you can't be harmonious and that there is peace. There's so much peace for you coming today um, and connection, which is really beautiful. So that's what I have for you, pile number two. Thank you so much for joining and take care. Welcome to your reading, pile number three. Let's take a look at your oracle card and see what guidance we have for you today. Gentleness. There's been a theme here in all of the cards, this softness, this gentleness. 
treat yourself with kindness, treat others with kindness. This is not a day for sharp edges. This is not a day for big decisions. There's this, this like feeling of closeness with yourself that is really um, peaceful and cozy and soft. Let's take a look at the guidebook and see if, what the additional messages are for you today. So gentleness, it says, snowflakes flutter through soft rays of dappled light onto a veiled ghost bride. Strolling through the deserted forest, she personifies the spirit of gentleness. An escort of doves flies nearby, guiding her onward journey as, the moves, as she moves closer to the open fields. By drawing this card, you are reminded of the virtue of gentleness. Life can be harsh at times, but the way we respond to challenges determines our receptiveness to its spiritual gifts and our connection to the world. Life beckons you to draw on it on this quality when it be, may be more tempting to react in an opposite way. If this is the case, the presence of this card is an opportunity for growth by handling a predicament with the wisdom of gentleness. You bend with the ebb and patient flow of its quiet and humble countenance. And in the spirit of gentleness, let's do, let's get you some cards from the Whispering Wood. I had two cards fall out. Okay. So a message for pile number three for today. <sighs> okay, so strengths. When your roots are deep, you need not fear the storm. And wish, make a wish with a dandelion in the wind. It's whispers and quiet, gentle strength. That's what I have for you, pal number three. Thank you so much for joining. Take care and we'll see you tomorrow.